Greg, the mastermind behind Campedia. Hey, guys. Thought we'd catch up. Uh, mate, you and I have known each other for a long time. We have, very long time. You've just come off the back of one of the most impressive weekends camping I've been at. Well, thanks, mate. With uh, the Campedia camp. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but 10 years you go, you started the app? Yeah, so 10 years ago, I guess probably more the concept started in my head of what I wanted to try and achieve. Yeah. Um, and it's been a building process um, from from that point on and expanded on what I had ever envisaged it happening. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've just held our first camp out this weekend, which is amazing for you guys to come along. What'd you end up with, 140 yeah. people? Yeah, it was a litmus test just to, I wanted to see, you know, would, would people come to a camp out? Are they gonna get value and us having some workshops and you yeah. know, things around? either content creating or how to do photography and things like that. We just want to share because we've been on the road full time three years. And then I put it out there to our audience and that. And um, all of a sudden the bookings just kept coming in. We ended up with over 70 bookings and then I think it was around 150 people. It's incredible. And every single person has been amazing. Met so many new people, lifelong friends, I reckon, straight away. Um, and because we've been doing the YouTube thing as well, We've always just been behind the camera and i can yeah. see now standing up in front of a crowd it's a lot easier just looking down the barrel of a camera right because <laughs> <laughs> yes. there's no one staring back at you yeah, yeah, yeah. the object is to just provide you know our you know ethos is adventure made simple we just want to be easy for people to be able to find new locations find campgrounds share it with their friends from the platform recommend places being able to book as well as not just find it then have to find the location then try and book direct mm they can come and book directly through ours. So we're pushing hard to get more and more businesses on board. So we're up over 50 parks across Australia now. And again, we're not a big corporate business. No. It's the wife it's, and I. <laughs> but look at look at the following you've got. I mean, both people look, I was talking to a few people yesterday about Campedia when we were talking about the rigs and stuff. And a couple, well, they all raved about, you know, the booking and, and how to follow trips and, you know, the, that whole itinerary there. But yeah. one of the other things that one of the, but the guy said in one of the Rams with a, with a big caravan like yours, he goes, what I'm thinking of doing is putting a GoPro on the front of the car and maybe one on the back of the caravan. He said, because I want to be able to show people that we can get into these tight tracks yep. and we can put that link of the video onto Campedia. So when other big truck caravan rigs want to say, oh, could we get down into this real tight caravan park? He's already done it. 100%. And that's part of something I've done a little bit different as well is that I want to celebrate every single other um, you know, Instagrammer or, sorry, it's just a spy yeah, calling off me. That. <laughs> um, everyone else that's out there with a traveling page or something like that, that is an advocate for Campedia, they can actually add their YouTube videos, YouTube shorts and TikTok videos that they're doing on campgrounds to our platform. Yeah. So we've just cracked over a thousand videos have been have added really? yeah, to the platform now. And it's all about that is, is what does this campground look like? And it's not just about pictures. People can go and watch their videos and then those people that are creating that content, they get an extra view and then yeah. those people go, oh, we like what these guys are doing and then they get an extra follow. And it's all about collaboration and sharing with everyone. That, well, that's been the big theme that I've taken from this weekend is collaboration and a rising tide raises all ships. Like every 100%. everybody is doing this for everybody and it's you've built a community of like-minded people who just want to get out there and explore and enjoy life oh 100 100 percent, and it's amazing like like we pulled up here friday um late in the afternoon straight away the guys next to us never met them straight away hey guys we've got a fire on get yourself set yeah. up come sit around the fire and take a breath you know I, and then you know brett next door got the push bike off for my son because i was off talking to people and yeah. everyone just helps everyone out it's really good. It's just epic. So. so where do you see Campedia going from here? Like where, if you could look down the crystal vase and then in five years time, what does it yeah. look like? Look, for me, I, I want to be the app of choice that people look and use because of that community. Yeah. It, the, the community is key, yeah. right? We're still building stuff out. We've got new ideas for the app. Um, I know there's still some things that aren't perfect on the app, right? But that, that's technology. Yeah. Our app has a lot of sophistication, a lot of things in behind it. Um, there's a lot of work that goes it. So look, five years time, if I want to still be doing events like this, getting out, meeting people, celebrating people's travels and journeys. We still want to keep traveling. We've got a daughter that uh, she was 13 when we hit the road. She's 16, she's 17 at the end of the year. 
she's now working full time to save up for her troopy and she just wants to hit the road and go traveling now as well so we've put the bug in them yeah, as well you, have, you? Yeah. you know even donna she's stayed in the same job you know for most of her life and never really wanted to get out of the comfort of home and yeah. when i first told her i want to jump in the you know, caravan and go traveling she said i prefer to shoot myself in the head <laughs> you know um but now she's got the nickname dora explorer does she yeah because she's just on the uh on the you know out exploring water holes and yeah. jumping around and doing stuff like that and she's always the last one to get off the tree swing and the last one to get out of the rock pool so the whole family love it i think for us it's made our family unit tighter yeah nice. as well because we've done and experienced so much together. Like, don't get me wrong, it's hard work. You know, it looks all sunshines and rainbows, but look, when it's good, it's great. But when things go wrong, we call that the pressure cooker. Yeah, right. You know, when it goes bad, it goes bad fast. <laughs> you can't go it anywhere. No, no. There's only one door to slam too. There is, and it, it gets a workout. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, it gets a workout. So as far as, um, like if somebody's watching this and, and wants to jump on Campedia, what's, what's the easiest way to find? Is it the app or the website? Well, look, you can jump on the website and then from the website, we've got links through to the app. Yep. Um, if you've, when you create an account, if whatever you add on your app will come across the website. So depending on what, what platform you log into, it'll work. So um, the iOS, or Apple Play Store, Google Play Store, and the website as well. And it's a free app, mate. We want to keep it yep. free for the users as well. And you want to get people out there using the app to give you content to make it better for everybody. Well, it's it's a community, right? So if we haven't got a campground, people are adding campgrounds to share with other people that are there, yeah. right? They're adding their photos. And look, some of the things that compared to other apps that we're, we specialize in, we vet and check every location before it goes live. Right. When people add photos, they don't immediately go live. And look, people add amazing photos, but they're not photos that are useful. They're great for the families and they look nice. You know? yeah. The nice you know, um, camp oven fire or a damper that someone's made or their dog sitting on the mat, which is all nice, but it doesn't help the other users. We want to see the size of the sites. Go and take a photo of the amenities. Go and take a photo of the toilet, the dump point, the tap, drinking water yeah. tap. Those things that people go, oh, there is drinking water there. Yep, it's on the, the, field, uh, the features, but I can see a photo where the tap is. I can see where the photo of the dump point is and everything is there and we can, they can see it. So it's yeah. you, good, useful information. Yeah, nice. So it made it, it's just been a whirlwind. Um, as I said, we've been on the road three years. The first two years were in my homemade caravan. You did a good job building that though, to be fair to you. Mate, I, I did look at, if you say it really fast, it sounds simple <laughs> because there was plenty of times where I said, I don't wanna play this game anymore <laughs> halfway through the build, but it was amazing. It took us right across the country but again, it's just had to start somewhere. You know, we're, we're not a big corporate business. We're just a couple that are getting into it. Well done, mate. Well, look, anybody who's watching this, jump on to campedia.com.au. Yep. And uh, we'll see you out there somewhere in the tracks. Happy, happy days, guys. And yeah, we do YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So yeah. we're across all those platforms and we, you know, anything we can help with, we're there to help. Brilliant. Well done, mate. That's Thank awesome. you. Cheers, guys.